question number seven. Right. Opposite angles add up to 180. There are two equal marks there. Please watch. Equal marks means they are equal in length. They are equal in length, please. Right. It's an isosceles triangle. It's an isosceles triangle. Okay. Then we have one more triangle at the bottom there, right? Right? It's a it's a N, that's a P, that's a M. It's a 29 and a half, please. If it's not clear, look into the worksheets. It's a 29 and a half. Now, our aim is to find all those missing angles. Right. What do we do? Right? Look at the opposite angles first. Let, let's go for the cyclic quadrilateral only cyclic quadrilateral ignore this line please right opposite angles they add up to 180 those two add up to 180 that's an 81 what do you think of n remove the one one first it was an 80 that should have been 100 but this is 81 so that's a 99 right that's a 99 add 100 and then 80. Okay, that is done. How do you go for M? How do you go for M? We applied the concept of opposite angles here. Now we are looking at isosceles triangle only. I know the top angle there. These two angles should be equal, please. That's an isosceles triangle and therefore base angles must be equal. So you got to take away that from 180, right? Take away this from 180. Whatever the answer you get, it should be divided by those two, right? Equally, please, right? Equally. So 180 minus 81 is nothing but a 99. We just got here now, same, right? 99, you are going to divide by two. You will get those two, that angle and that angle, right? So. Can I say it's a 49.5 then, right? It's a 49.5, 49.5. What do you think of P now? How do you find P? I'm, I'm not going to solve. Come on, think. How do you find P? It's a, it's a triangle. Think about the triangle. You know two angles, right? 29 and a half and 99. You are finding the missing angle. You know how to do it. Right? Thank you. I'm not going to explain. Right? Two angles you know, you're finding the third one. It's a triangle. So, you know. Move to question eight, please. Well, as the sums become difficult, uh, I will explain slow, right? The first few sums are very easy. So, I had to go very, very fast, right? Look at question eight. We got isosceles triangle. Immediately, base angles are same, right? We have two radii. Whenever you see two radii, more than one, right? And if, if a triangle is formed, that's isosceles triangle, okay? So, look at this question eight, please. Do we have a center point? Do we have a center point? Yes. That's the center point there, given by O, so we are happy. Is there a line passing through the center point? Come on. Yes, there is a line passing through. And therefore, this is nothing but diameter, right? We know angle in a semicircle is a right angle, please. We learned the lot in the, in the first lesson, right? Uh, geometry part one. Angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Angle made by a diameter should be 90, right? Apply that concept. Apply that concept. That's the diameter. It's a semicircle. So, angle in a semicircle is 90. That's a right angle, please, right? Turn the picture like this. Concentrate on that triangle only, right? That's a 90. It's an isosceles triangle. Those are the base angles, right? Those are the base ang angles. Those two should be equal. Take away 90 from 180. 
and then divide by two equal parts, right? You know how to find that now. By the way, that comes to 45, C is 45. Now, what should we do about the red triangle? That's a, that triangle also is in the semicircle. Can we say the angle there is 90? Angle in a semicircle is 90. Happy? Now, if that is going to be 90, if this is a 28, what do you think of this angle here? Concentrate on the triangle, please. The red triangle. I want you to concentrate on that triangle there. You know two, two angles, eh? That's a 90. You know the right angle. That's a 28. You are finding A. You are finding that A, please. Right? Those two angles and that angle, all three of them add up to 180. So, 180 minus 90 is a 90. Right? That's a 90. Take away 28. 10 minus 8 is a 2. Seven, uh, 8 minus 2 is a 6. We got 62. Right? That should be a 62. Right? That should be 62 degrees. That A. How do you find this angle here? How do you find this angle? Well, we apply those basic rules, please, from the part one. Angle at the center. Watch there. Angle at the center. Well, there are many, many ways to find. Let's look at it this way, right? Angle at the center equals to angle at the circumference. So, uh, is, is, is twice, sorry. That's the angle at the center. That's the angle at the circumference and that should be half of this. It's a 28. What do you think of that? It should be double, right? So, B should be 56. That's one way to do. If not, it's an isosceles triangle. Look there, please. It's a radius. That's a radius. You know one angle there is 62. Then you can find the rest. So, we got the value of B as 56, right? Now, these sums, there are so many rules that you can apply. As long as you, you know your basic rules, it's very easy to attack those sums. All right, people? So, please listen, fill those blanks, show your steps <coughs> ni nicely, and then see how it goes.